Welcome to another video. This is our day trip to Seabrook, Washington on the Pacific Coast. Started out rainy, but soon gave way to clouds and a generally nice day. Okay, we are over here stop, uh, after Hokiem on Highway 109. We stopped by a oyster shack place. We just saw the sign and thought we'd stop by and see what they have. So here we are at the town of Seabrook. This is like the Instagrammable spot. We're gonna take a look around, see what we find. The mountain biking area is, I guess, in those hills over there. We'll see how it looks later. lunch first before we go for a ride. So here's what we're eating for lunch. We are at the trailhead. You can see some mountain bikers coming out of the trail right there. This is where the trails start. This is the blue trail. It's supposed to be flowing and then it's gonna go into a green trail and head on to where it, all the other trails are. Just in case you're wondering what green and blue trails are, green is usually just an off-road trail with no issues. They're smooth and rideable for everyone, while blue trails give some challenges like roots, berms, or jumps, but it's usually more fun for mountain Tell bikers. Me to stop filming. So green trails allow anyone who can ride a bike to just go out there, be in the forest, and enjoy the ride. While blue trails require just a little more skill, but it's where the fun begins. We are on the outside trail, Narnia. Basically it's like this, logging roads. And then we're gonna turn into these forests. And we can see a lot of trails still under construction in there. So they're building more and more trails, give people a lot more options. Cedar Lane. Here we go. Aha. So it looks like the trail builders put a lot of time and effort into Cedar Lane, and it shows. The lines are smooth and there are fun bits, but you have to keep pedaling. There's no sustained downhill run here, but it's good cross-country fare. Trees over here. Cedar Lane dumped us back at Narnia, which is the main highway in this system. We turned right to head to the collection of trails on the south side. But first, a detour through a Rudy Bloop trail called OG Narnia. Woo! Oh, it's such a rooty section. The southern collection of trails starts out with a trail called Get the Stink Out. It's a groomed trail that's rideable for all skill levels, and it connects to a trail called Buck Lake. It's also the perfect flowing trail for getting a cross-country mountain bike workout. Yeah, there's a... Whoa, whoop de doos Woo! Woo! Buck Lake encircles several downhill only trails that you can use for berms and fun jumps and you can do over and over again as long as you're willing to climb back up. And climbing back up isn't such a huge climb, so you can really spend the whole day just going up and down and up and down. Here's an example of one of those downhill only trails called Highway 105. It's a green flow trail. 
13 Tables is another one of those downhill only trails, which is a blue flow. It's got lots of tabletops, allowing you to do practices on your jumping skills and also your cornering skills on these berms. Woohoo! Going fast! After sampling several of the trails encircled by Buck Lake, we headed back through the same way that we came in. This footage is from Maid Brigade, going back towards the parking lot. Overall, we're impressed by the setup of these trails. It looks like the town really made an effort to incorporate the activity into the mainstream. Kudos to the folks who maintain this system and will definitely bring our mountain bikes anytime we're in the area just so we can ride these trails again. So if you're driving around anywhere near these coastal cities, Ocean Shores, Moclips, Copalis, or Pacific Beach, make sure to stop by this town, Seabrook. Get some food and ride the trails. You're not gonna regret it. Thank you.